Many pregnant women come to us with a scan report showing decreased water levels or absent water levels around the baby in their pregnancy. There are many reasons for this condition to happen in the pregnancy. This condition is called as oligohydramnios or anhydramnios. In today's video, we are going to discuss various causes to develop anhydramnios or oligohydramnios in the pregnancy and how to monitor these pregnancies and what will happen to an unborn baby if this condition happens before 24 weeks of gestation. Hello everyone, myself Dr. Kiran Shri Chittala, Fetal Medicine Consultant, New Era Hospital from Nagpur. Please do subscribe our channel for the regular updates on fetal and maternal medicine. Oligohydramnios or anhydramnios. What is the prevalence of this condition in the pregnancy? 1 in 100 cases in less than 24 weeks of gestation. There are many causes to develop this condition in the pregnancy. First and most common one is preterm rupture of the membranes where the bag in which the fetus is lying has got burst out and has led to a drain of all the fluid from the uterus. And the second condition is uteroplacental insufficiency. It is the second most common cause which can develop in the later pregnancy. Third reason is fetal anomalies, which are renal anomalies or bladder outlet anomalies, which can lead to an anhydramnios in less than 24 weeks of pregnancy. How do we diagnose this condition? When the water level uh, we will uh, measure in two parameters one is deep vertical pocket one is amniotic fluid index D if the deep vertical pocket less than two centimeter or amniotic fluid index less than five centimeter then we will call it as oligohydramnios and how do we monitor these pregnancies whenever we have seen a patient with uh, decreased water levels we will see the complete structure of the baby to rule out any anomalies in the baby if at all we find some anomalies we will uh, suggest further genetic workup for the patient and the second reason we will check for any leaking of the fluid through the vagina and then third uh, one is Doppler studies to rule out the fetal growth restriction and uteroplacental insufficiency which is leading to the oligohydramnios. We follow these cases one to three weeks interval as per the case and the cause for the oligohydramnios in which we study the liquor levels and then Doppler studies to see the blood supply to the fetus. The prognosis of, for these cases depends upon the gestational age at which the oligo or anhydramnios develops and also cause for the oligohydramnios. If it happens because of the fetal anomalies like renal anomalies or outlet anomalies, obviously the prognosis will be poor. If the cause is preterm rupture of membranes less than 24 weeks, 40% of pre these pregnancies will end up in the miscarriage. And the Preterm rupture of membranes, if it happens near the term, that is more than 34 weeks, the prognosis will be good. So those pregnant women who has been diagnosed with the oligohydramnios or anhydramnios, no need to panic. Please consult your obstetrician or uh, fetal medicine specialist to for the better guidance. And if you have any queries or questions regarding this condition in the pregnancy, please write it in the comment box. Thank you.